It's the tourist season on Spain's Canary Islands. But despite the coronavirus pandemic and a lack of visitors, these apartments and hotels haven't been left empty. They're being used to house a growing number of migrants, arriving in record numbers from Africa. The situation in this hotel is very good, you know, but the problem is there's no job for us to do. So we are just sitting here, just eating and sleep. So that is not good now at all. And some of us, we have a family. We came from Africa to work. So that is our job. And our Africa is not much better, you know. At least 18,000 people have landed on these shores this year alone, more than half of that in just the past month. And that's put a strain on government facilities and left thousands stranded in the main port without basic services. It's also angered local authorities and many of the island's residents who've criticized the government's slow response. These people should not be here, but what can we do? The government says it's urgently setting up makeshift camps on military sites. We think that by the end of this year, we will have temporary camps to house 7,000 migrants set up. This is the first solution. It blames the increase in arrivals on EU agreements with Turkey, Libya and Morocco that have stopped many migrants using established routes. The Interior Minister has held talks with his Moroccan counterpart and the Foreign Minister is to meet UN officials ahead of a visit to Senegal. That's become one of the main points of departure for those willing to risk a perilous journey in the hope of a new life on European shores. Karel Egg, Al Jazeera.